Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today we're gonna to talk about using your Moza Slypod with the Moza Master app on your smart device. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to use the remote control option on your Moza Master app to control your Moza Slypod. First thing you wanna do is make sure that you turn on your Slypod, then go to your Moza Master app, open that up, swipe till you find your Slypod, go ahead and connect, and then make sure you have your Slypod selected on your device. Then go ahead and click connect. Wait for that to load up. Then go ahead and click on enter. Now that you're in the app, let's go ahead and click on the remote control option. Now on the remote control, you have three different options, regular, gear shift, and acceleration. Let's start off with regular. In the center of the screen, you have a zero at the bottom and at the top, a 280 millimeter in red. Now, if you click and drag the little circle, you can select where you want to move your slide pod to hit its destination, and it will go at its fastest speed. So for example, let's say I want to take it all the way out to 280 millimeters, and that's where I want it to stay at. Just click and drag, let go, and now it'll go all the way to that point. Now, this is not the method you want to use to actually operate as a slider. This is really just to get it at the location that you want to start at. Let's say I want to bring it back down to about halfway through. Just click, drag, let go, and then it'll get to that point and stop. Now, let's bring it all the way back down. Now, on the bottom, you have four different buttons that you can click on. Take photo is to actually operate the shutter on your camera if you have an optional cable connected from your Moza slide pod on the Type-C port to your camera's USB port, and then you can actually control to take photos. Moza has different cables for different camera brands. For example, the Sony requires a specific cable. Now, the second button says speed. If you click on that, you can adjust the speed that the slide pod operates in this regular mode. So let's say we want to go to a 55 speed. You can choose between 0 and 100. Now, in order to actually make it move at that speed, you have two options. You can either click and hold either the upwards or downwards button. Right now, we're all the way down, so we're going to want to go upwards. Click and hold it, and it'll go at that speed that you selected up until you decide to let go. Then it'll stop. Now, if you want it to go all the way the distance, all the way as far as it can, then you click it twice, and then it'll stay selected on its own so you don't have to hold it, and it'll go continuously until it ends or until you stop it by clicking the upwards button one more time, and it'll stop. Same goes for the downwards. If I click and hold the downwards, it's just going to keep going until I let go. If I want it to go continuously, I just click it twice, and now it's gonna keep going until it stops or I click downwards one more time to cancel it. Okay, so now let's bring it all the way back at 100% speed. Go ahead and put 100 and then click downwards twice. And that's how you use the regular mode in the remote control setting. Okay, so now let's go into the gear shift mode. Click on gear shift at the top. Now this mode works a little differently. Unlike the regular mode where you have to click upwards twice, or downwards twice in order for it to continuously go on its own. With this mode, you just click it once and it'll go in that direction. Also what's different about this mode is that it starts off at a slower speed and it will slowly progress until it gets to the speed that you chose. Now one of the unique things about gear shift is that not only does it start off slow and then progressively get faster, but if you let it go all the way till it goes to its furthest point, then it also will start to slow down before getting to that final destination. Let me show you here. Let's go to your speed and let's say 100 speed here. And now we're going to go upwards, click that once. And now you're going to see it's going very slow, progressively starting to go a little faster, a little faster. About halfway, it should be hitting at its 100% speed. And we're approaching that now. And then after that, it's going to start to slow down. And you can see it now slowing down. And it's going to slow down all the way up until it gets to the end. And that's where it stops. And there you go. Same if you go downwards. Starting off slow, picking up speed. As it approaches the middle, 
hitting that full speed that you selected, and then now starting to slow down again, all the way till it comes to a complete stop at the end. Boom. The take photo button works exactly the same as I mentioned earlier on the regular mode. You need the cable to connect to your camera to operate that function. So now let's go into the third and final mode in the remote control, acceleration. Click on acceleration at the top right. And then from there, you'll see that it's a little bit different than gear shift. Now what's similar is that it also starts off going slow and progressively gets faster. But unlike gear shift, instead of it coming to a stop by getting slower and slower as it approaches the end, with this one, it goes at that full speed up until it stops and it does a more abrupt and harsh stop. So let me show you here. Let's go to speed 70 and let's go upwards. Click that once. And now you'll start to see it go very slow, slowly start to progress. It's getting faster, a little bit faster. We're approaching about close to the halfway mark now. Definitely still increasing in speed. Now it's probably roughly about at the 70 speed and then hard stop. Now let's do the same thing going downwards. Click that once. And now it's starting to go very slowly back at the speed that we selected. So we're still at that 70 speed. It's going to get there eventually. Starting to pick up. Definitely going faster. Now we're about that halfway mark now. Picking up speed. And then that harsh stop. Now, though it is a pretty abrupt stop, it's not like a jolting stop. It does still look smooth, but it's still a faster stop when compared to the gear shift. The take photo button works exactly as mentioned in the gear shift and the regular mode. So that's how you operate the different modes in the remote control option. On this YouTube channel, I have multiple videos with the Moza SlidePod and the Moza Master app, and each video focuses on how to use each option. You can either browse through this YouTube channel to see each individual video, or you can go to the description and get links for each video from there. If you're interested in getting this awesome Moza SlidePod, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them from either B&H Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any more questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.